Hey there, everyone, welcome back. This is absolutely insane. Squid Game Smuggler set to die by firing squad in North Korea. That's right, it states the smuggler who sold copies of Netflix smash hit series Squid Game in North Korea has been sentenced to death by firing squad. The man allegedly smuggled copies of the Korean language show on a USB drive from China into North Korea, where seven high school students were caught watching the footage. It goes on to state a student who bought one of the flash drives received a life sentence, while six others who watched the footage have been sentenced to five years of hard labor. Teacher and administrators at the school were also fired or faced forced labor in remote mines. Holy smokes, they're not messing around in North Korea at all. So it states that North Korean authorities tried to keep Squid Games out of its country where foreign media is banned. That's just brutal, man. It says that Squid Games has been able to enter the country on memory storage devices such as USB drives and SD cards, which are smuggled in by ship and then make their way inland. A resident of Pyong Song told they say that the content is similar to the lives of Pyong officials who fight in the foreign currency market as if it was a fight for life and death. It goes on to state that North Korea passed a law last year on the elimination of reactionary thought and culture, which carries a maximum penalty of death for watching, possessing, or distribution of media from capitalist countries like South Korea and the U.S. That's just absolutely mind-boggling that this kind of stuff still goes on in the world today. Absolutely brutal. I'm blown away. But yet again, this is in North Korea. And then it just kind of like, you know, shocks me when we get news reports about what's going on in our countries and they try to like, you know, oh my god, this is happening in the U.S. or like they're doing this to this person and it's like nothing compared to what goes on in these other countries. So we should be thankful and grateful that we don't live over there. I'd be thankful that we live in the land of the free. That's just absolutely insane. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Do you think that's a little extreme just for smuggling some, uh, you know, foreign media into the country? But I guess, I guess that's that's their country. They have different rules and laws and they can do whatever they want. Please like this video, share it with your friends and family so they're aware of what's going on over there. This is crazy. Please click that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out.